Now, moving on to some more PlayStation news. We're going to be talking about Spider-Man Miles Morales because Caboose is the fanboy that we all know and love. Caboose, what's going on? (laughs) Yeah, uh, so last week, Game Informer announced their monthly cover, and it turns out it's Spider-Man Miles Morales. And with that came a ton of exclusive coverage through them. They gave us a ton of articles, some new screenshots to look at, a bunch of new gameplay to see, uh, and as well through the magazine itself, although very hard to get a hold of or to even read if you're in Canada, <laughs> yeah. uh, there's there's even more information stuff that gives you some details about the opening moments of the story mode for the game, some details about why Peter Parker isn't in the game, although that may be considered a spoiler for some people, so I won't really go over that specifically. Um, but overall... <laughs> Yeah. Wait, what's that? Does it sh- tell us more about why Miles Morales is in Adidas? Oh, yes. Yes. Haha. Uh-huh. I'm funny you should mention <laughs> that. Yeah. So there's a screenshot. <laughs> there's also a screenshot out there of Miles wearing not like Adidas Adidas, but like knockoff Adidas, which is just an the abomination. The fact that they're knockoff makes it worse. Yes. Yeah. It just makes yeah. it so much worse. It's, like, it's that Nike much or, of a kick or stomach. Or Jordan's like. Uh, couldn't Sorry, even get knockoff ahead. Jordan seriously. Uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, not to not to harp on the game too much because the gameplay looks incredible. There's some there's some footage of Miles swinging around, doing some web swinging. All the animations are very unique. I've been saying this a lot in my videos where I was covering a lot of this stuff. You can see in the animations of Miles swinging around this level of inexperience, but also you can see this level of style, this uniqueness that Miles has that Peter doesn't. In Peter being this experienced Spider-Man and not to discredit him, but also being a white dude, he just, <laughs> he just has no style, right? And Miles, I think he has a little more of that flair. He's You can just see that he's having more fun swinging around and, and especially it being his first year as Spider-Man, you can see that he's really having a blast just web swinging around being Spider-Man. So I love that and I really appreciated seeing that for the first time. There was also some footage of the Rhino boss fight, which is going to be like, a part of the opening sequence of the game, which I thought was awesome, especially because of the fact that if you remember playing Spider-Man PS4, you play as Miles in a stealth section, you know, running away from Rhino. But now, coming full circle, in Spider-Man Miles Morales, you're facing off against the Rhino head-on. And I think that that's really, really cool. Some nice little bit of character development there for the character. Uh, And everything about this game is just awesome. What's that? Some fan service there as well for fans of the first game. Yeah, uh, yes. Right? Um, I, <laughs> Caboose, you had me crying over here uh, when you were talking about <laughs> <laughs> his style compared to Peter Parker. And I'm actually looking at one of your videos right now um, when you're talking about that web slinging. Because I think a common misconception jumping into Miles Morales, especially because it's not Spider-Man 2. It's, it's an in-between. Yeah game people think Mm -hmm. it's just going to be a reskin of like exactly how spider-man moves Mm -hmm. um exactly how everything all the move sets that we saw in the first game just come over to miles morales um and just adding his you little uniqueness in terms of you know his invisibility or invisible invincible no invisibility invisibility you got there yeah Yeah. (laughs) Um, the venom blasts you know yeah the venom blast so it's Mm -hmm. great that they are putting a lot of love into miles morales how do you think that this will play in terms of people who played the previous game before do you think it would be an adjustment to get used to that because i know i was a fan of the web slinging in the first one Mm -hmm. and you know when you are playing any superhero game playing as a superhero you want to feel powerful Mm -hmm. i'm just kind of concerned because you are going into a more inexperienced spider-man which is cool but then I also want to feel really cool and badass. So Here's- I think, I think, and sorry to cut you off, Malik, no, but I, I think the that level of an experience is more of like what you see rather than what you feel. You know, like I think it's all in the presentation rather than the actual gameplay. Like at the end of the day, when you're free roaming around the city and you're web swinging around the city, you're going to still feel familiarity from when you played Spider-Man PS4. When you're in a combat section, that's where you actually might feel a little more powerful given Miles' new powers and abilities. He can straight up shoot electricity or he can go invisible for stealth sections. So there's almost like 
a level of additional power that you get out of the character versus uh versus Peter. But I think overall, there's going to be a sense of muscle memory in Spider-Man mm -hmm. Miles Morales, where things might get real different would be in the inevitable sequel to Spider-Man PS4. And they try to innovate a little further because this is really just Spider-Man 1.5. But it is, I think, more than a, an overglorified DLC. A lot of people are trying to pawn this off of just being a DLC. And I disagree yeah. with a whole story mode dedicated to the character of Miles, with Miles being a brand new playable character and having new abilities like the Venom Blaster, the invisibility, you know, having the snowy New York City, the ray tracing, all the stuff that comes with the PlayStation 5 version of the game. I feel like there is more to this game than it just being a DLC. Yeah. But at the same time, it is not, so it's certainly not a sequel like a full-fledged sequel in the way that a spider-man 2 will be eventually it's not on the scope and the scale of spider-man ps4 but it's also i i think even bigger than something like an uncharted lost legacy from everything we've heard and seen from yes it. yeah and so that's that's how i'm feeling i think you'll still have a level of familiarity when you play the game you're still gonna know okay like i'm in the groove of things it doesn't feel too different but with some of those additional powers you might even feel a little more powerful yeah, and yeah. you know, and I think okay, I think I played a lot of mm -hmm. superhero games because I'm a nerd like that. Um, mm -hmm. But when you think of Batman, right, you know what mechanic came from Batman? That detective mode yep. is now in pretty much every game possible mm -hmm. out there. With Spider Man, that mechanic was traversing, which we saw a lot of it from Sunset Overdrive, Insomniac's previous title, where they borrowed a lot of the traversing mechanics from for Spider Man, but kind of perfected. Yep to make you really feel like you were Spider-Man. Do you think we're yeah. going to see something innovative here that will kind of change, um, not necessarily the gaming landscape, but how they will go forth with the series? I, I hope so. And mm -hmm. the only thing I wanted to say to your last point too, is if there's not a point where Miles Morales is scared out of his mind and outmatched, they failed the story. Because mm -hmm. he's a young, young Spider-Man you know they they really have a chance to i think that where miles morales will shine is in its story i yeah. think that is and when you're talking about something that will change the game i think that with the subtleties of his swinging that that's one thing that i really did enjoy is that you can see that there is a style change and i think them just putting care into the nuances of a character that's what's really going to be groundbreaking because mm -hmm. now we are starting to see games where there are characters in the same universes. They're dealing with the same situations, kind of, but they, they have to deal with them differently. And mm -hmm. having those intricacies of the characters and having it tie into their gameplay and who they are, that <laughs> I think that's what's going to set Miles Morales apart. I hope that they bring a new feature that could revolutionize gaming but because it is kind of a playstation or a sorry spider-man 1.5 i don't think that they would mm -hmm. yeah and i think yeah they do have a chance to get the player more involved in the story because you start off as inexperienced and i think you can get you'll get used to the game just as fast as miles getting used to his powers and you can even feel more powerful getting to know it better and mastering it slowly you're not peter parker which you've seen in i don't know how many movies and mm -hmm. i don't know how many actors too <laughs> you know peter parker you know his story hmm. you can't re relate to him because you know him but hmm. mine's just beginning just like you would if tomorrow <laughs> you would be spider girl i don't know you'd get started the same way he would and that's give the chance to really relate to it. And I think you can get some fun getting to know the powers just as he does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I yeah, I agree with that. And okay, yes, I'm glad that you mentioned <laughs> that because the best thing that, that Game Informer has shown, I don't know if everyone's seen it, but there's an alternate suit that you could wear where you straight up have a cat in your backpack yes. and it helps you 
when yeah it helps you when you do takedowns it literally assists <laughs> taking down enemies it is the Spider best cat. thing this game will have to offer i don't know <laughs> if a cat's had the spotlight as much as spider cat but i'm yes. loving it and i really don't know where spider cat like why not spider dog like i don't no. know the relevance because this is not in any of the comics that i remember reading or seeing about miles so i don't know where spider cat came from but i'm glad that my cat's it. here today <laughs> um caboose i want to ask you a question that arkham red's actually asking you caboose sure. do you think insomniac will go as far as to give miles dlc extra content or miles the game extra content or will we just have the story mode um, you know, I really do hope so, but at the same time, given that this game is kind of acting as a primer to a Spider-Man 2, I feel like we're probably not. Mm -hmm. Like, I have a feeling we're going to get this game, and next year they're going to announce, not release, but they're going to announce Spider-Man 2, and it'll be coming in 2022. Like, I think that's literally how it's about to go down. Insomniac is a huge studio. That's why, you know, Part of me, when they announced Miles Morales, part of me was like, oh my God, like that's a two year turnaround for a game. That's crazy. But then at the same time, I was thinking, they're releasing this and Ratchet and Clank. Insomniac is a big studio yes. with a lot of people lot working of people. there. Yeah, you it's know? a machine. So, and, and then especially being under Sony, I'd imagine that they're, they're capable of turning out games real quick, as long as there's no crunch. I mean, I don't know what the situation is like over there. Um, but I'd imagine because of the, how big the studio is and because of, you know, Sony's backing of them and all the funding that's being provided from Sony, that they have the ability to turn out games in two years. And especially considering that Miles is not meant to be as big of a game as Spider-Man PS4, they probably didn't need to put all their eggs in this basket and were able to still have enough people working on a Spider-Man 2. So I don't think there will be DLC for this game. I would love for there to, there to be so that its lifespan isn't just like, one to two months granted more people will play longer than that but in terms of the story content and the actual like new stuff i don't yeah. know if it'll last longer than that <clears throat> um but i hope i hope there's dlc i just don't see there being any dlc because of the fact like i said that i expect them to announce spider-man 2 next year i th i feel like what we will oh sorry no go ahead go ahead what are what is your thought because i saw this on twitter but it was just one random person what are your thoughts <laughs> on them random doing one there. random person? I wish I could remember their name because I'm not <laughs> trying to take anybody's idea. But do you think it's possible that they do a Spider Girl before they do a Spider Man two? Like a like no, a Miles Morales I don't think so. Spider Girl, you don't think? I think I that like they could inevitably get there after a Spider Man two. Yeah. Do it as like in, um, do like the stories in between, like a almost like a yeah, Spider Verse actually, kind you know, of iteration. In that's a really that's a really cool idea. Actually, if they yeah. wanted to do side stories like that. I'm actually, you just got me really excited. That, that would be awesome. <laughs> that could that build would a be lot. Awesome. For sure. That could open up the spider verse if they wanted to. They don't even mm -hmm. need to like make, they can make like a spider Gwen game, but they don't need to interject it with the Spider-Man exactly. PS4 universe, but rather just make it a spider Gwen game and then inevitably do the spider verse thing. I think that could yeah. be so yeah. cool. And yeah. whoever <laughs> random person one, two, three was on Twitter, <laughs> tell them that they're on to something. I'm yes. going to find random person one, two, three. One, two, three and let them know. <laughs> one, two, three. I, I actually believe that Insomniac's goal was to have Spider-Man 2 come out next year um, as a surprise. Like we knew we were, they were working on Spider-Man 2 for a very long time. We've been mm. getting more rumors and news about Spider-Man 2. I think it would have made sense for the game to come out. Like they announced it early in the year. Then it comes out for the holiday season um, of 2021. But with COVID, we don't know. Maybe 2022 is being more likely. Yeah. Another theory. I don't have my tinfoil hat <laughs> here today. But I think Miles is going to make an appearance in Spider-Man 2. And maybe we will get DLC content as Miles in Spider-Man 2. So, yeah. like, mm. I, I think that's plausible. How do you guys I don't think feel? you need a tinfoil hat for that one. I think, okay. I think you're definitely onto something for that. I mean, my yeah. pitch, I don't know if I've ever given you guys my pitch. Oh, no, no, give it. For, for a Spider-Man 2 and a Spider-Man 3. But if you played <laughs> Spider-Man PS4, if you watched the post credit scenes, like, strap in. I'm literally, I've written the perfect outline, okay? okay. So my theory for Spider-Man 2 would be that obviously Harry Osborn is Venom. Uh, we we know that as much from the post credit scene of Spider-Man PS4. Spoilers, it's a two-year-old game, though. If you didn't plan on playing it, 
Spoilers two years ago. No you warning. know, like we're way past that point. Um, but yeah, so Venom, Venom is Harry Osborn. Obviously, it's also the symbiote that's keeping him alive right now due to whatever illness he currently has. Uh, that being said, Peter's in that like rock and a hard place situation like he was at the end of Spider-Man PS4 with Aunt May, where he's either got to get this symbiote off the dude or he's going to tear up the city. And because of that, Harry dies. The symbiote then gets attached to Peter. He's Black, Black Spider-Man. Spider -Man. You play as Miles for the rest of the game, Ooh. trying to stop Peter from going bad as Black Suit Spider Man. So it's then, almost the movies. The, <laughs> and then the setup for Spider Man 3 is obviously better. Norman being so distraught after the death of Harry Osborne that he goes full Green Goblin mode. Peter Ooh. and Miles working together, co op online implemented into the game where you fight against Green Goblin and some other rogues that they'll probably throw in there. That's Love the pitch. It. That's the outline. Insomniac, I'll get you my number if you want to hit me up. <laughs> we'll write some stories. Yeah, I love that. And on, you know what? On that note, I think I'm going to call up Insomniac while we take a break. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. I need to call Insomniac. So we'll be right back. <laughs>